بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف وجعلنا من أعبانه وأنصاره اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين Page 237 from the book Al-Mujas في أصول الفقه The topic is في تنبيهات الاستصحاب The title is few points about Istishab, and this is a kind of uh, expanding on the discussion that we had before about istishab. And with this, the whole discussion about usul amaliyya will finish, inshallah. Maybe it takes us more than one session, but we'll see. At tambihul awwal, the first note, fi fi'liyyat shak in actuality of the doubt. In istasab, we said we need to have both yaqeen and doubt. Certainty about previous condition, but certainty is now there, yeah? So certainty that you have at the time of istasab, but about the previous condition, and doubt that you have at the time of istasab about later condition so that doubt has to be fairly actual real not you say if he had thought about it maybe he would have doubted or he certainly would have doubted no it has to be really and actually uh, doubted yushtaratu fil istishabi fi'liyatu shak the requirement of istishab is, yushtarato means it's conditional, you know, this is the requirement, that shak has to be actual. Fala yufidu shakku taqdiri. Shakku taqdiri means conditional doubt. Means if such a thing had happened, he would have doubted. Okay? It's not a real, actual doubt. It's doubt in a supposed way. With an example, it becomes clear. فَلَوْ تَيَقَّنَ الْحَدَثِ مِنْ دُونَ أَنْ يَشُكَّ Suppose someone is certain about hadath. Like, for example, slept his wuzu was broken or like Najasa for example his tahara was damaged but then no doubt thumma he forgot totally wasalla ghafala means he became heedless means he forgot to think about this he said his prayer thumma altafata ba'daha then after prayer, he paid attention. Yes, he noticed, he remembered. Fashakka. Then after prayer, he doubted. Fi annahu tatahara min hadathihi sabiqa qabla salah awla. Now it is 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and he says, Oh, at 10 o'clock. I had no wuzu. Did I make wuzu and said my prayer or I didn't? Now he has doubt. Fala yajril istishab. Here istishab would not be implemented. Why? لِأَنَّ الْيَقِينَ بِالْحَدَثِ وَإِنْ كَانَ مَوْجُودًا قَبْلَ الصَّلَاةِ Although before Salat, he had certainty about Hadath, 
but lakinahu lam yashukka li qaflatihi but he didn't doubt because he was heedless the, the whole question of hadas disappeared from his mind yeah so he didn't have doubt and what happens is now is for the salat that he has already prayed we can apply the principle it's a rule not a principle it's a rule a qaida in fiqh which qaida tul faraq whenever you complete an action an act of worship and then later you doubt whether you did it properly or not this is about qaida tul faraq So istishab will not be implemented and it will be ruled, the judgment would be that this salat is valid because we take the rule of faraq. Faraq means completing and finishing. Is it consensus in all ulama on this? Uh, Normally, yes. At least, at least in general. Maybe it, there are some details, but in general, yes. No, uh, otherwise, you know, it doesn't, uh, uh, you know, make uh, lots of sense if you want to keep do uh, doubting after you have finished something. The, the thing that I'm thinking is that if you haven't done something properly and you have a doubt that you've done it properly, then you might have to do it again if you, if you can. No, if you knew it. Uh, this is the point that I said. Yeah, Maybe I we say, if someone knew what is the ruling. <clears throat> okay? If he knew what is the ruling, and now he has doubt whether he did it properly or not, we say, you knew it, so you should assume that you did it properly. Mm -hmm. But if he was not aware, you know, for example, someone doesn't know how to say uh, uh, his salat properly. Okay? And now he says, maybe by chance I did it okay. I have doubt and maybe by chance. We are not talking about these cases. Someone who knows what to do. And we assume that he was conscious, he was remembering and he did it properly. If he doubts afterwards. There is a possibility that he might have done wudu before salat and the chance, even if there is a probability that he might have done his salat with wudu, which means properly, that's enough for uh, rule of faraq. Whoever has done an action and he knew how to do it and now afterwards he has doubt whether he did it properly or not but there is a chance that he might have done it properly then he applies the rule of Faraq. Is it clear? Faraq. <laughs> ولكن يجب عليه التبضع بالنسبة إلى صائر الصلوات. But he has to make wuzu for other prayers that he's going to make after this point. Because قائدة الفراغ then cannot be helping him for future salat. Yeah, for previous salat we say okay. But now he has doubt. That he has made wuzu or not, and he's sure that at 10 o'clock, for example, he didn't have wuzu, so he has to do istishab of Adam wuzu, and therefore he has to fix the problem for sure. Walakin yajibu alayhi tawadu bin nisba ila sa'ir as salawat. Sa'ir as salawat means future salawat, yeah? Sa'ir means other, but he means by other the future ones. لأن قاعدة الفراغ لا تثبت سوري لا تثبت إلا صحة الصلاة السابقة. 
Ammas salawatul atiyah Fahiyya rahnu Ihraz tahara Gaidatul farah Only can prove Or can help Because actually it cannot prove It can help To know that Our previous one is accepted Or is valid But the future salat, atiyam is future. Future prayers, rahanu, they depend on securing tahara. Ihraz means you have to secure, you have to establish that you have tahara. Is it clear? And this is totally different from a person that had yaqeen at 10 o'clock about hadas and then doubted before salat. If he had actually doubted, then istishab would be implemented and then his salat becomes a problem. Like the previous one, but ثم الشك في وضوعه ومع ذلك غفلة You know, in the previous case, there was yaqeen and then غفلة, not shak. But here he has doubt. When he has doubt, then you apply istasab. You cannot apply qaidatul faraq. Is it clear? Wasalla wal tafata ba'daha. So he doubts, then he became heedless, he forgets, he you know just didn't you know notice. And then he said his prayer, then afterwards he became again conscious about this issue فَالصَّلَاةُ مَحْكُومَةٌ بِالْبُطْلَانِ This Salat is ruled that it is void. Why? Because before Salat أَرْكَانُ istisab, All the requirements, all the foundations of istisab are complete. يَقِين for حالات سابقة and شَاك for حالات اللاحقة He had both of them before Salat and he has to assume that hadath is continuing, therefore salat was not possible to be done. He may say, maybe I did wuzu before salat, but this maybe is not helping. With this doubt, istishab will be applied, and Qa'idatul Faraq afterwards would not be applied. It's not applicable. Okay, this is the first note. The second note is about Istishabul Kulli. Istishabul Kulli. Means you want to bring from previous condition to the current condition a universal concept, not a particular instance. You know, juz'i and kulli, in logic you studied, in philosophy you studied. Juz'i and kulli. For example, I know that at 10 o'clock in this room, there was a person called Zaid. Zaid was in this room at 10 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, I have doubt. Whether Zaid is still there or not. We can do a stesha of presence of Zaid in the room. We can say at 10 o'clock there was a human being. And at 12 also we assume there is a human <coughs> being still there. So instead of focusing on Zaid as a particular instance, we move on to a more general concepts, say a human being. Okay? Of course, here we don't do istishab uh, because it has nothing to do with sharia. But suppose there is a case that we want to do istishab because, because inshallah we will tell you later that istishab is only used for shari, religious matters. Either hukm shari or mozu which has hook. If it is something about uh, intellectual affair, you know, external affair, which has nothing to do with hukm shari, what wajib shari, wazifei shari, we don't do it, it's, it's the you know? 
for example, you want to invest your money on something, mm -hmm. you cannot say, you know, last year I invested and it worked, and this year I do, again do it as half. If you want to do it, it has nothing to do with Sharia or Islamic. It's the Sahab that we say is about religious matters. So, do you get Estesab al Kulli? Yes. Estesab al Kulli then has three types. And it becomes very complicated in the second and the third type. The first type is very simple, as I said. There was Zayd. For example, at 10 o'clock. And now I have doubt about Zayd being still there at 12 o'clock. I can do a stishab of Zayd or I can do a stishab of Insan, a human being. At Tanbihu Thani fi Estishab al Kulli. Not Al Estishab al Kulli. Estishab al Kulli. It's Muzaf and Muzaf al Means you want to bring Al Kulli, the universal. You want to bring it to the later condition, later time. Al Muradu min Estishab al Kulli. هو استصحاب الجامع بين الفردين. You want to do استصحاب of something which is جامع, something which is common between two instances. For example, كاستصحاب الإنسان المشترك بين زيد وآن. Insania is common between Zayd and Amran, uh, Bakran, all people. Or, Wujub and Istihbab, Natib. What is common between these two? Talab means it is something which is asked or encouraged. So, you can say, I knew that there was Wujub. And then I do a sub of wujub, or you can say I knew that this was something which was matlu, it was you know uh, asked, and I do a sub of matlu be here. Okay, when we explain the three types, it becomes more clear. Al qismul awal min istishab al kulli, the first type of istishab of the universal. Either علم بتحقق الكلي في ضمن فرد ثم الشك في بقائه وارتفاعه. When it is known that the universal has materialized, تحقق has materialized, has occurred, has happened in one case. For example, humanity. In the case of Zayd, was here. Then you have doubt whether it's continuing or not. At 10 o'clock, Zayd was here, and therefore we had humanity also here. At 12 o'clock, we don't know Zayd still is here or not, therefore we have doubt whether humanity continues or not. فقد علم بوجود الإنسان فيها فيها مس في الدار. If you know that Zayd was in house, so it means that you knew that humanity there was a human being. فإذا شك في بقائه فيها. So when you have doubt whether Zayd is still in the house or not, you can do one of two types of استصحاب. I can either you do استصحاب of Zaydia, Zayd is there, or you do استصحاب of Kulli of insan, the universal concept of insan, and say, I know that insan, there was a human being, and I assume that there is still another human being. Okay? Not another, I mean one human being. So, you can do one of two istishab. Istishabu baqa il fard, ani zaydan, or istishabu baqa il kulli ani al insan. Is it clear? Let us give you example from Sharia Fiqh. إذا صار محدثا بالحدث الأكبر. 
You know, Hadatha Akbar needs Ghosl, Hadatha Asghar needs Wuzu. So, for example, uh, Janaba, he knew that he had to do Ghosl Janaba. But he has doubt whether Janaba is still there or not. Maybe he has done Ghosl. He should assume that still Janaba is there. So, either Janaba itself or Hadassa Akbar as a universal concept. إذا صار محدثا بالحدث الأكبر عن الجنابة والشك في ارتفاعها بالرافة then he has doubt whether this جنابة is removed by bringing رافع something which removes جنابة which is غصب يجوز له استصحاب الجنابة he can do either istishab of Janaba, which is one particular type of Hadas Akbar, and therefore he should assume that he is Junub, and all the asar, all the effects of Janaba will be applicable to him. He cannot stay in Masjid, he cannot uh, go through Masjid al Haram, Masjid al Nabi. Or instead of doing istishab of Janaba, we can do istishab al kulli. What is more general than Janaba? Hadas Akbar, which includes other things for which you need Qusl. Okay? So, Kama Yaduz istishab al kulli, I ask Lul Hadath al Jami' bain al Janaba wa Sa'il al Ahtas. What is common between Janaba and other things which causes Qusl? Then whatever is the effect of Hadas Akbar will come here. Like cannot touch the Quran, cannot stay in Masajid. So you can do one of the two types of Istishab. Istishab of Zayd or Istishab of Insan. You have question? Said. Uh, yes. Yes. And the second one, Kama Yajuz Istashab Al Kulli. He uh, he have two options. Yes. And both he have to uh, to perform Wasal Janaba. Why why he don't say Fayajib Ali Wasal Janaba? Fayajib Ali, not Yajuz. Because he in both No no Yajuz either the first one to assume that he is Juno, or assumes that he is Muhtasa Bahadatha Akbar. So in the first, then he should make the niyyah of Janaba. In the second, he just make the niyyah of Qusl, General Qusl. Include Qusl Janaba. Of Qusl Janaba would be one type of it. One type of it. The second type of Istishab al Kulli. It becomes a little bit more complicated, and then the third is the most complicated. First was not complicated, yeah? First was okay. Second, in the first time you had Zaid, and the doubt was also about Zaid, or Janaba, and the doubt was about Janaba. So you could do Istishab of that particular or the Kulli. But now, please listen carefully. At 10 o'clock, there was something in the room which has, for example, an animal, like a goat, which has shorter life. And then maybe at 12, there is an elephant which has longer life. Okay? And what you want to do is to see whether you can do a stashab of haywaniya. That there is a haywan in this room. Not the same haywan. Because the same, for example, goat, maybe is not now. But haywaniya was through goat or through elephant. إِذَا عَلِمَ إِجْمَالًا means عَلِمَ Mukallaf or Ulema Ijmalan. You can read it in two ways. Anna Fiddare Haywanan Muraddadan. 
Baina kasir al umr wa tawila. He knows that there is an animal in the room. Maybe this animal is goat or elephant. Goat is shorter in life. Elephant can live longer. فَقَدْ عَلِمَ تَفْسِيلًا بِوَجُودِ حَيْوَانًا فِيهَا He knows definitely there is an animal. Not, for example, an insect or a plant or non-living being. Knows that certainly animal is there. And this much is tafsili. Means has a specific knowledge that there is an animal. But... المشخصات إن كانت المشخصات مجهولة The particularities of that animal are not known Okay? So he knows that there is an animal But doesn't know which type of animal Goat or elephant for example Sheep or elephant ثُمَّ مَضَى زَمَانٌ Then some time passes and this time is enough to be certain that if it was the one with shorter life would not have survived. For example, this elephant could have survived, but if it was a goat, now it is five years, ten years later, could not have survived. Knows that the one who has shorter life is finished, is expired. So he has a still a doubt whether there is an animal, but if it was focused on the shorter one, the one with shorter life, no doubt, finished. Okay? فَلَا يَسِحُ اِسْتِسْحَابُ الْفَرْدِ Can you do اِسْتِسْحَابُ of غَنَم? No. Why? Too much time has passed. Yes. First of all, too much time has passed. Also, you didn't know that there was غَنَم. Did you know that there was غَنَم? You said either غَنَم or فِيل. So, you cannot do اِسْتِسْحَابُ of غَنَم because you don't know that غَنَم was there and even if it was there, by now it has expired. Can you do اِسْتِسْحَابُ of فِيل? Because we didn't know that it was field. So what we do? Estishab of Haywan, which was common between Ghanam and field. La yasihu estishab al-fard, mithlu al-Ghanam and abil field. The adam al-halat al-mutiyakkanate lil-fard. There is no certain condition. Liftirad kawn al-mushakhasad majhulah. Because those particularities are unknown. Walakin yasihu estishab al-kulli. You can... It's okay, it's valid to apply the istasaf for kulli, for what is common between ghanam and fil. Let us give you an example from religious matters. This was for the sake of understanding. Mithaluhu min al umur al shar'iyya. Ma idha kana mutatahiran. Someone was okay. No need for wuzu or ghusl. Mutatahir. From every aspect, he was okay. Kharaja balalun muraddadun bayna al-bawle wal-mani. Something wet, a wetness, like liquid, came out. Doesn't know it's urine or mani. Fa'inda idhin. حَسَلَ لَهُ عِلْمٌ تَفْسِيلِيٌ بِالْحَدَثِ الْكُلِّ He knows specifically that hadas as a general concept has happened. But doesn't know, does he just need to wash and make wuzu or to wash and make ghusl? Okay? حصل له علم تفصيلي بالحدث الكلي ثم إذا تبضع بعده فلو كان البلل بولا ارتفع الحدث قطعا If that was bowl and he has made wuzu then that's gone 
But if Lokana Maniya, if it was Mani, Mani causes Janaba, Janaba with Wuzu is not gone. So now he cannot say, I am sure that that hadas which was common between, uh, you know, between Bol and Mani has gone. Why? Because maybe it was Mani and Mani is still in need of Qusl. لِحْتَمَالِ well, كَوْنِ الْحَادِثِ Mani. فلا يجوز استصحاب أي فرد من أفراد الحدث. You cannot do استصحاب of بول or many and say you know so استصحاب of عدم الغزو or استصحاب عدم الغوص. You cannot do that because you don't know which one was there. But you can do استصحاب of جامع. What is common between them? فلا يجوز استصحاب أي فرد من أفراد الحدث لعدم العلم الحالة السابقة. You don't know the previous condition. لكن يسوه استصحاب الجامع أي مطلق الحدث and then the result is that then you have to do both وزو and غسل yeah you have to do both وزو and غسل is clear this was easier the first one no the first one was very easy if you do غسل then it's all sorted no no if someone, for example, goes to the washroom, then Osl is not enough if it is in enough wuzu. For Janaba, yes, but not for urine. Al qismu thalis min istishab al kulli. The third type, this is more difficult. In the second type, the one that was there from the beginning, the same thing is doubted whether it continues or not, but we don't know what, which one is that. So if it was feel, feel is continuing. If it was ghanam, ghanam is not continuing. But the question is not that, for example, we start with ghanam and then becomes feel. Maybe. Okay, it's the same thing, but we don't know which one was there. But in the third type, the person, the mistah changes. For example, imagine a kulli like insan. Insan is a universal concept, a kulli. Was in the house, in one case, one instance, like Zaid. So, insaniya was in the person of Zaid there. ثُمَّ بِخُرُوجِهِ مِنَ Then we saw that Zaid has gone. So someone says, I want to be clever. I want to prove that still we can assume there is human being. We say, how? We saw Zaid, you knew that Zaid was there, you didn't know anything more than Zaid, and now Zaid has come out. He says, no, you knew that there is a humanity there, human being is there. Now, still maybe a human being is there. But not Zaid, another one. Another one. But then you may say, the humanity that I knew was because of Zaid, and that is gone. Do you understand? If the mafhum, which was general, universal, has materialized, has happened in the form of one person, like Zaid. And then we know that certainly Zaid has left the home. Lakin, but there is a possibility that maybe Amr was with Zaid. لكن يحتمل مصاحبة عامر معه عندما كان زيد في الدار. Maybe when Zayd was there, Amr was also there. Zayd came out, still Amr is there. Or Zayd came out and Amr went there. Just before 
Zaid left, Amr has gone there. So some human being is always there, maybe. Are you sure that there is no human being there? No. Were you sh sure that there was a human being there? Yes. So you can do istasaw <laughs> if you accept this type. ففي هذا المقام لا يجري استصحاب الفرد أصلا. You cannot assume Zaid is still there because you have watched Zaid is out. Yeah. لأن الفرد الأول مقتول ارتفاع. If you say I want to do استصحاب of Amr, Amr is not known to be there. Zaid was known, but we know that has gone. Amr, we don't know at all that he was there. So you cannot do istishab of one person. Because means from the basis, you know, from the principle. Yeah, in English, what do you say? Yeah, but here means all together, for example. Or, means there is no basis at all. Lakin. يجري استصحاب الكلي. But if you accept this third type, then you can do استصحاب of the universal concept. أي وجود الإنسان في الدار الذي هو الجامع بين الفردين. You can do استصحاب, okay, of human being in the house. Now let us give you example from fiqh. مثاله في الأحكام الشرعية. A person was كثير الشك. Frequent doubter, yeah? Can we say? Someone who frequently doubts. So, this person was very you know, intense, you know, in doubting, you know, doubting too much. Mm. That level has gone. But maybe a weaker level has now remained or started. So the one that we knew that exists doesn't exist. But we can say he was Kathiro Shak, whether strong or weak, he was Kathiro Shak. The strong has gone, but maybe the weak is there. And we don't know the weak was there because he was strong. We know that someone was Kathiro Shak, frequently doubting. We know that he has changed. That frequency is no longer the same. But either because he has become very good, completely clean from this, or he has weaker condition. means kathrat shak has gone altogether. Oh in it has been transformed into martabat al a weaker level. فلا يجوز استصحاب المرتبة الشديدة. You cannot do استصحاب of a stronger level because that certainly is not there. Has gone. You cannot say I do استصحاب of مرتبة ضعيفة weaker because he didn't have weaker before. He was strong. لأنها مشكوكة الهدوء. So you don't know and you don't know it is happening. لكن يمكن استصحاب الجامع بين المرتبتين. What is common between weak كثرة الشك and strong كثرة الشك that common thing can be uh, brought to the next stage. وهو كونه كثير الشك just كثير الشك not strong, strong or weak. غير مقيدة بالشدة without conditioning it or limiting it to kathra or weak. Of course, this is a type that some people don't accept. This type of istisal. Okay? 
The third point, I don't know, are you okay? We continue? Yeah? Okay. We can leave the fourth for another time, but at least the third. عدم حجية الأصل المثبت استصحاب is okay when it is to sort out a doubt about religious ruling حكم الشرعي or the subject موزو for حكم الشرعي موزو which directly has become subject for a حكم for example, I can do استصحاب of وجوب, حرمت, تهارت, نجاست. These are احکام شرعی. حکم وضعی و تکلیفی. Okay? I can do استصحاب of حکم. Or I can do استصحاب of something which brings حکم. For example, life. Someone was alive. Therefore, he was owning his property. Now, if there is doubt whether he died so that he's uh, inheritors can take it over, or he's alive. We do istishab of hayat, because hayat is the subject for some religious rulings. But you cannot apply istishab to establish a reality which directly is not subject of hope, and then it becomes basis for another thing, and then that thing has religious ruling. This is called aslam musbet, means a principle by which you want to establish something, to prove, to demonstrate something outside. This is not for istasab. Okay? Yushtaratu fil istashabe an yakuna mustashab. Mustashab is the one who does istashab. We are mustasab. Yeah? Mustasab is the thing that you want to bring it from previous condition to the current condition. Mustasab, the one that you are doing istasab for it. Okay? Mustasab, yushtarato, it's a condition, it's a requirement. It must be, emma hukman shar'iyan, kastasab ahad al ahkam shar'iyan. Either hukm taklifi or was it doesn't make difference. Wujub, hormat, ta or taharat, zawjiyat, milkiyat, this type of thing. It can be also kulli or juz'i. A general fatwa or, for example, wujub of this particular thing, tahara of this particular thing. All of it is hukm shari, kulli or juz'i. Okay? Oh, mawdu'an le hukm shari. If it is not hook, at least a subject for hukm shari. Kastishab hayat zayd. We do a sasa for the life of zayd. We assume he's still alive. Why? Because hayat of zayd is the subject for many religious rulings. Mawdu'atun la ahkamin kathira. For example, his wife is still married to him. Baqaya, ulqa tazzawjiya. Ulqa means relation. Relation of marriage is continuing. Hormat taqseem amwali. It's haram to distribute his property to the family and inheritors. Ila ghayr dhalika min al-athar al-shari'iyya. And there are other things that may apply. But it cannot be anything further. For example, Lavif taradna. أن زيدا غاب. زيد has disappeared. وله من العمر اثنا عشر عام. He was twelve years old and disappeared. So after that we didn't see him, we didn't hear anything from him. شككنا في حياته بعد مضي ثلاثة أعوام من غيبته. Now it is three years after he disappeared. If he was alive, by now he's 15 years old. He's Balik. Yeah? Hal yasihu istishabu hayatihi Can we do istishab for his life 
not for a hokm shari to prove that for example he is mature now and then that maturity brings a hokm no هل يسهو استصحاب حياته لغاية إثبات أثره العقلي to prove the rational effect not religious rational effect of life if you calculate you say 12 now 3 years more is 15 so he is bothered but this is not religious ruling by itself then you say I want to prove Bulugh and then Bulugh brings some Ahkam say no حَتَّى يَتَرَتَّبَ عَلَيْهَ آثَارُهُ الشَّرْعِيَّةِ مِنْ وُجُوبِ الْإِنْفَاقِ مِنْ مَالِهِ عَلَى وَالِدَهِ so this man who is now 15 years old if he was alive or you know we say okay now he's Baleh and we can distribute from his money to his parents because as a baler, he has to take care of his needy parents. Ola yasekho. Ala hadha fal murad min al asl al muthbet. So what we mean by asl al muthbet is this. Let me say asl al muthbet is not hujja. We mean this. Ejra ul istishab. To apply, to implement istishab. In order to prove a rational effect, a thoral agli, aval adi, habitual effect, something that adatan habitually happens, lil mustashab, for what is being brought to the next condition. Zahab al muhakkun, those scholars who are very good in their research. They said it's not valid. Aslam Musbet is not valid. Ela Adam is Sahati. Why? Lanal Athar al Akliyah. Because intellectual or rational effects, although they are effects for what was known, which was the life of Zayd, but they are not Shari. This is too much to go into the uh, outside shop. Either has to be Hukm Shari or Mozu for Hukm Shari. Not Mozu of Mozu for Hukm Shari. Bal hiya atharun takviniyatun. These are bulugh is one of those things which is takvini. Is about, you know, existential. Qayru khadaatun. These existential matters are not subject to ja'al. Ja'al means, pardon? means making a legislation or supposing, i'tibar, assuming, supposing. These are real things. Either they are there or they are not there. al athar al-shari'iyatu al if you say what about the religious asa, religious effects, they are subject to jal. We say al athar al shariyat al mutarattiba to ala tilka al umur al adiyat wal aqliyat. Those religious rulings which come based on bulugh or other things which are aqli or adi. They accept jal, they accept legislation, but These are not effects for what was known. What was known was hayat of Zayd. And you should remain with that. الذي أمرنا الشارع بإبقائه Shara says لا تنقض اليقين بالشك Life was known you can assume life continues. That's it. You cannot say, I assume life continues. Then, based on that, I assume that he's baligh. Based on that, I assume that his money can be given to the needy parents. So, what was mutiyakan 
And Shara said, you have to do ebqa, means to keep it, preserve it, and tanzil mashkukei manzalat al-mutiaqen. And when it's doubted, you assume that it is certain, that's life. Bal hiya athar. But these are athar for amra agli, for a rational thing, which happens between mutiaqen, which is mustashab, and athar shari. So it's mawzu, for mawzu of hukm shari. And this middle one is not the one that you can do as this how. Is it clear? So you can assume that he is still alive, but you cannot say, I assume that he is alive, therefore I assume that he is baligh, therefore this only once, either hukm shari or subject for hukm shari. Because, you may say, why? Because that much that we are sure that we have permission to use istisab is for sharia. And sharia, we have to keep it to the minimum, that much which is certain. Hukm shari or mozu hukm shari. You cannot, you know, use istisab to, you know, prove so many things that have nothing to do with sharia directly. And then bring religious you know, implications out of them. Another example. You have fasted 29 days. And you have doubt whether tomorrow is Eid al-Fitr or it's the 30th of month of Ramadan. And no moon sighting has happened. Okay? No moon sighting. So what should you do? You fast. Yeah? Oh, you can travel, of course, but it means that you assume, you do istishab of Ramadan or istishab of Adam Royat al Halal. Okay? Can you establish from this that then the day after that is Eid al Fitr? Assuming that we've done 30, the next day should be the first of Shabbat. But we're not sure. You are not sure. And this must is something that you are uh, bringing out of a practical assumption you know when we say you assume that this is the 30th of Ramadan this is just pract for practical you know problems it's a solution practical solution this estesab cannot establish that in reality this is the 30th of Ramadan it's just for us to know what to do we said usul amali never establish hukm baqi So you cannot say, by Allah, the day after this is Eid al-Fitr. Okay? إِذَا تَعَبَّدْنَا الشَّارِعِ or تَعَبَّدْنَا الشَّارِعِ If we obey Shari or Shari, ask us to obey. By what? بِإِبْقَاءِ شَهْرِ رَمَضَانِ You still... Assume that Shah Ramadan is continuing. You preserve Shah Ramadan. You keep Shah Ramadan. Or Adam Ru'yat Hilal Shawwal. You assume that moon was not sighted because it was not sighted before and even today you have that. So you assume that moon is not sighted. Fi Yawm Shak. In the day which is the day of doubt. You don't know it's end of Ramadan or beginning of Shawwal. فَإِذَا ظُمَّ هَذَا تَعَبُّدْ إِلَى الْعِلْمِ الْقَطْعِي Then you have also, in addition to this تَعَبُّدْ You have certain knowledge that 29 days have gone from the beginning of the month. Okay? فَيُلَازِمُهُ الْأَثَرُ الْعَادِي If 29 has gone, then عادتاً, habitually, the next day is Ramadan. 
because most of the time it's 29 days, and the next is, uh, sorry, it is Shavuot, uh, the fifth. Because 29 have gone. وَأَوَكَوْنُ الْيَوْمُ الطَّالِي وَعِيدُ الْفِطْرِ فَهَلْ يَتَرَتَّبُ عَلَى ذَاكَ الْأَثَرِ الْعَادِي الْمُلَازِمِ لِلْإِسْتِصْحَابِ الْأَثَرُ الشَّرْعِي You can say, Salat al-Fitr is okay, and you have to take away out of your money fitra. At-Tahqiq. What is the uh, correct answer after research? Is la yatarattabu ala al You cannot take this out of istishab. La yatarattabu ala al istishab al athar al adi habitual effect. So that then you can bring asar shari for that athar adi. Why? لأن الذي تعبدنا الشارع بإبقائه. What shari has asked us to do? Is Baqa or Shahr Ramadan? We assume that the months of Ramadan continue. Or Adam or Royate Halal Shawwal. The crescent of Shawwal has not been sighted. Falisyan at the Tabu de Shar and Lagwiya Yataratabu Kulu Athar and Shari and Allah Hadain and Mustas Habain. So when Shar says that you assume Ramadan is continuing or moon is not sighted, then if this is not going to be vain or useless, it should have some impact. And the impact is that you must fast. But Al-Athar Al-Adi is not something that is uh, legislated. Lal Athar Al-Adi, not habitual effect. لأنه خير قير خاض إن للجعل والاعتبار. It's not something to suppose or to legislate. Why? Because فإن الأمور التكوينية. Because existential matters they are dependent on واقع on reality. You are not concerned about practical duty. أما الآثار الشرعية المترتبة. Yes. That amra adi, that habitual thing which has to be uh, about reality, may bring religious implications. But it's not too much of distance between what you have to do as a subject and hukm shari. We said only hukm shari or mozu of hukm shari. Amma al-athar al-shari'iyatu al-mutratibatu ala dhalik al-athar al-adi. Fahiyya, those asar. Accept to be legislated and be, for example, subject to assumption of shari'ah. Lakinha laysat atharan mutarattiban ala ma ta'abbadan al-shari'ah bi'ibqai. They are not directly the impact or the effect of what we have obeyed shari'ah with respect to it. Or shari'ah has asked us to obey. And that is, today is the month of Ramadan. Or it's not from Shavuot. نعم استثنى بعض المحققين من الأصل المثبت موارد تطلب من الدراسات العليا. Some ulama said there are some cases that we can use استصحاب to establish something and that then can be used to establish something else. So like establishing a reality. But uh, that is something that not everyone accepted, and it is also for more advanced studies. So he doesn't go into that discussion. So basically, what is important is to remember that istishab can only be used either for hukm shari, which was known to be there and without its continuity, or mozu, subject for hukm shari. Okay? Like Zayd, his life is mozu for Hukm Shari, for Zawjiya. He's married to someone. We don't know whether he's still alive or not, so that he's continuing or not. Marriage is a Hukm Shari. Yeah, Hukm Vaz'i. Therefore, we can do a Sasha. But 
we cannot then do too many, you know, things uh, with istishab. We should not go out of the realm of Sharia with istishab. Okay. There is, there are two more uh, notes that I think we leave it, inshallah, for uh, the next session. Wa akhir da'wana, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin.